Hello, agribusiness students, the future entrepreneur of our country. You are tuning in Ag Egg 40, your fundamentals of agricultural engineering. Once again, I am your lecturer, Engineer Nilo Lurna, and I would like to welcome you to our second session of the subject post harvest engineering and technology. As a review, in the previous video, we discussed about agri-processing and storage and we learned that there are two types or categories of agri-processing and that is, or these are primary and secondary processing. Also, we discussed the importance of, of processing and we learned that we process agri-products because of the following reasons. One is food security, number two is food safety, number three is to minimize product loss. Likewise, we also discussed about the storage, about storage and we learned the purpose and objectives of storage, the different storage facilities and factors that will affect the quality of agri-products during storage, okay? So this time, we will discuss the major, I repeat, no, the major post-harvest operations. And so and so, what are this? What are the post of processing of op post harvest processing operations? So, number one is of course material handling. The second one is size reduction. We have mixing, drying, heat treatment, cold treatment, chemical treatment, and biological treatment. Okay, so. Let's discuss in details the different activities involved in its processing operation. So for material handling, we have, of course, a trimming. No? Trimming is the cutting or removing of unwanted parts like those likely to be rejected by consumers or, that, or that are those that can be shortened the storage life of the product. Example, root crops, such as kamote, no? trim na to mga exist ng mga roots, banana for example, and cabbage. No? We have to trim some of these uh, or these uh, crops para sa mga katong dili na appeal sa atong product. The second one is cleaning. No? Cleaning is the removal of dirt, chemical residues, millibags, sooty molds, and other extraneous materials such as leaves and stone. No? So, Paglimpyo ni, pagkuha sa mga unwanted o mga dirt. No? This can be accomplished by soaking or by water soaking or by water spraying or by using rotary drums, brush drums or brush, brush washers, um, shaker washers, wiping, dry brushing, forced air, uh, removal by hand or any combination thereof. So, pwede na. No? Any, any of those, no? Basta maklin lang ang product. No? The next one is of course curing. No? Curing is the process of toughening or self-healing of bruises and skin areas in roots and tuber crops and citrus. No? So mo na ang atong i-cure. No? Kung naisa mad, ato sa siyang i-undergo of curing. Okay? So uh, para nga maayos ato, para nga in-transport, dili malata. And there are also a lot of curing treatment. No? Uh, kanang ibutang sa natong sa chemical na ibutang para nga or other curing treatment nga itong himoon para lang uh, ma maayo itong iyang samad para dili padali malata ang product. Okay, the next one is waxing or the other one is waxing. This is actually the application of thin film of surface coating to fruits and vegetables. So, kana no? Uh, surface coating, no? That means uh, wax ang ibutang so kana atong mga apples susahay no kana uban nga mga apples ilan ang butangan og uh, uh, wax no para nga dili madaot during 
transport. Okay? And then we have also uh, other activity. We have sorting. Sorting is the process. The process of classifying the produce into groups designated by the person classifying them according to whatever criteria he may desire. Okay? So, that is sorting. Okay? So, fruits and vegetables are sorted by color, size, and quality using screens. Diverging belts, ruler sorters, and other sorters. Grains such as nuts and grains, nuts and seeds are clean and sorted by size, shape, specific gravity, and surface characteristics using screens, blowers, um, specific gravity separators, centrifuges, cyclones, and other similar equipment. So, mona ang magamiton kung magsort taka sa tong product. Then other one is uh, other activity is separating. No? This is the process of removing particulate solids or matter from liquid or gas. No? The most common of the most common types of equipment used for separating a variety of agricultural products include rim separators, gravity separators, and cyclone. No? So money ang nakadiferensya sa sorting o sa separating. No? And separating is ang pag-remove sa sulid no? from uh, liquid or gas. No? So, pag-remove sa sulid. No? Na yung mga products nga, kinahanglan na to ka ng mix panaglitan. So, ito siyang i-remove. No? And then, we have greeding. No? So, greeding is the process of classifying the produce no? into groups according to a set of criteria or criteria of quality and size recognized or accepted by the industry. So, on sa tong uh, ang kining sorting, lahi kaysa, on sa tong sa, lahi, ah, uh, kining greeting, lahi kaysa sorting, no? Ang sorting is, uh, ang tao na to, no? Kung sa'y gusto niya nga uh, pag-classify sa so, ka uh, product, no? But, uh, this grading is recognized na sa industry. So, na na set of kanang na ay criteria, no? Recognized by the industry. No, mo na mo hatag na grade, no? Grade 1, grade 2, ay mo, no? Uh, grade, class A, class B, class C, no? So, mo na mga grading sa'yo, or type 1, type 2, type 3, ano? No? So, mo na mga grading systems, no? Sa fruits and vegetables. Okay, so then we have also packaging, no? Packaging is the art of science and technology of bringing goods from its source to the place of consumption at a minimum cost possible. So, farm products may be packed individually, in group in groupings or in groups or in bulk no so makita na to ni how does our uh, agricultural products have been transported no kaning fruits and vegetables na to i transport so ay nakasud siya sa carton nakasud siya og plastic container nakasulod siya og container van or naka crate siya no depende na sa unsa nga uh, product so depende pod ang iyang packaging no for example kanang ato mga mangga no gikan sa Cebu or somewhere no ipotos sana siya og uh, newspaper old newspaper para na nga dili madaot ang uh, surface no nya pagkahuman uh, inig uh, wala ipak na siya or ipotos na siya og crate na siya para sa pag transport or isod anang plastic na crate na para during transporting okay then we have also the other one is conveying and transporting no this is the process of moving the produce from one place to another so Conveyors, elevators, ogres, lift trucks, and other types of equipment are used to move materials and goods. So, muna itong makita no, sa atong kadilanan o sahay, doon ay mga nag-transport sa atong uh, mga goods from Mindanao, gikan sa asapang napitang lugar sa Pilipinas. No? Yes, barko, makita na ito no, na ang mga mode of transportation, no? either by sea or by land, by air, pwede. No? Okay. No, so mauna ang sa material handling, no. The other one or the other major post-harvest operation is ang size reduction. So what are the activities, no? Or activity nga involved sa size reduction, mauna ang cutting or slicing, no. It is uh, is used for size reduction of large to medium or small size parts. So mauna mo ingon na ganit tao ato is slicing. No, for example, kanang atong uh, potato para ito yung mong french fries, di ba? <laughs> Excuse me. No? Na ay uh, 
nato na siyang islice, panitan niya islice in such a way that islice na to sa exactong size, no? Ito yung exact size, na correct size, standard size magha, dan para na siya sa atong uh, muna ikaw ang size reduction. Parang ready to cook na siya, ready to fry na po ang atong product or sa mga other processing or operations nga ma-involve after na to siya gi, saman atong gi, uh, size gi reduce ang iyang size. So, fruits and vegetables are cut in preparation for processing operations such as freezing or tanning. Then the other one or the other activity is chopping or sharing. No? Forage, forages such as corn and silage are typically chopped to optimize the ensiling process. No? So, mauna, no? And then as reading, some products are shredded to assist in mixing and drying operations. So, kanang atong example na to common, no? kanang atong gata, no? ato na siyang shred, no? Pao na to ang meat, gamita na to shredder o kantong atong bangguran o kudkuran. Then, after anak, no? Na na to shred na to siya, ang uh, mahay mo na to isang pwede na to himuan o, himuan o, puno. Then, muandergo na ka o susunod ni kawag na to o, crushing. No? Some agricultural products are crushed for juice or oil extraction and to expedite drying. No? So, ato na i-crush. So, ato pong pug-on. Kung sa ato pa, binisaya pa ang bot sa uban. Hindi kong sayo nga. No? Basta pug-on siya para mugawas ang juice. No? Okay? Then, we have other uh, size reduction no? uh, uh, activity. We have grinding. Grinding is a food processing method, method where particles of food are cut into fine, take note, huh? cut into fine or fine fine pieces or bits. No, grinding and hammering of grains is a common practice in preparation of livestock feed. No, so mao na ang naka kwan sa grinding. No, and how does it differ also with the other uh, size reduction na activity? Kining milling, milling is the process in which grains are ground into small pieces to improve. Palatability, reduce cooking time, and create food products. No, okay. So milling operations are used to produce flour or to separate fibers in crops such as flax. No, so more than a ilang diferensya. No, sa grind, no, himo on siya nga. Ang sa to, ah, himo on siya nga fine pieces or bits. No, ang sa milling mas pino ni. No, kaya kanan ko ano gino? Kanan sa pino na gini kanan tong maghimutag rice cake yan atong bibingka no G uh, milling o grinding na uh, grinding na ang tawagan na no so himo ang pino no so ato i grind siya para nga mahimo gud siya nga unsaman kanang naay uh, pino na nga pino pa quality sa atong bibingka okay so uh, the other uh, post harvest operation or the major, major post harvest operation is mixing no the following agricultural materials and products are mixed into processing operations, no? In processing operations, like 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 livestock feeds, no? Can you fruits and vegetables? No? Can you fertilizers and soil and composting materials? So mao ni sila ang atong kasigaran ina mix, no? O sana, no? Sa atong uh, major, no? Post harvest operation kan ang ito na to mixing. The other one is drying, no? Drying is actually what the removal of moisture, no? Other term for this one. Ang dried na ganyan, ang product na higi, is gutan, gitawag na siya o dehydrated product, gitawag sa uban. No? Ba, uban po, gitawag, gamit na naman po term na dried product. No? So, ang, as I, I repeat, no, drying is actually the removal of moisture. So, the following agricultural materials and products are often dried as part of the broader processing operations. Grain, no? sample, ano, no? grain na to is dried using batch bean or continuous gravity flow dryers. Hey, no, pwede po na to din hey hey hey, no. Pwede hey, no, kanang uh, i dry food ang hey, no, ang fruits and vegetables. Pwede. And powders typically have excess moisture uh, removed by spray drying. So kaning powders para niya nang ma powdered milk, no. Undergo na sa drying, ang tawag niya na is spray drying, no. So mo nang mo undergo na sa drying para nga makahimo ta og powdered milk. Okay? Then we have heat treatment, no? Ang other processing or post-harvest, major post-harvest processing operations is heat treatment. Heat is used to pasteurize milk and juice, to boil fruits, no? And vegetables for vacuum or freeze packaging. 
to steam or thermally sterilize honey equipment and to fry or bake products for retail use, conduction, convection, and radiation methods are widely used in processing industry. So, yung tagi treatment, no kasagaran ini niya pagpapatay no, sa mga bakterya nga unwanted sa atong product. So, for example, kana atong juice, no, kana, after magod sa extraction sa milk or sa juice, especially gikan sa milking parlor, kasagaran na na i-undergo na siya ang tawag na to of pasteurization. No? Pasteurization. No? So, i-pasteurize na siya in order to kill the unwanted or the bacteria nga dili maayos sa itong product na makahatag pag-unod ka daon sa itong product. And then, no, pwede po na kanang atong mga uh, kaning, no, kanang atong mga sardinas, no? is the exode and dito sa lata yan there go na sa kitawa og retort no retort so init gihapo na heat treatment gyapo na siya para pagpaluto pagbuka lito na ang kato pong mga bacteria nga dito nga nasud during the canning process no mo na final nga gamiton para i-seal na siya no i resode og retort so para mga patay ito mga bacteria dito so dili madaot so, dali ang atong produkto okay so kanang kun conduction conduction and radiation methods nga these are the modes of heat transfer, no? The heat transfer, so engineering na na. So, dili na ka mag-isgod niya nag-detalye. Okay? So, the other, no, uh, major post-harvest operation is ang cold treatment. No? Cold treatment, no? Ganina init, karon bugnaw, no? Many products are cold to prolong shelf life. No? Various types of mechanical refrigerators, equipment, and structures include their coolers, Cold storages, freezers, and controlled atmosphere storages. No? So, cold treatment. No? Dili tanang produkto i-undergo o heat treatment. So, doon na po yung mga produkto nga i-undergo o cold treatment. Say, for example, kaning atong mga yogurt o kanang itong uh, yakult, no? which are uh, fermented products. No? I-undergo na sila o cold treatment. No? Kagigikan mo na sila sa milk. No? I-undergo na sila o cold treatment. The purpose is to reduce. No? Aron pagpahinay sa pag ang mukaon ang bakterya nga nasod na pero ang bakterya nga nasod na class di ba good bakterya para kung inum ka nindot og resulta sa imong tiyan no mo na nga mo na siya dili na siya uh, kinahanglan nga heat treatment kun dili i cold na siya kay kun ang uh, tem temperature environmental temperature or condition diha sa mong product uh, ah kanang ay uh, uh, sakto sa temperature nga kinahanglan sa bakterya ang mahitabo na mahurot ng imong milk da ang mahitabo kung mahurot na siya ang iyang pagkaon mga matay ng mga uh, bakterya kay wa na masay makaon so mo na nga isud na siya og gabugnaw para nga ang mahitabo ang kantong mga bakterya din mura sa maluya so mo freeze siguro sa silaw kuna dili na sa kayo mo kaon no so dili sa mga kaon so dili sa mga matay ba dili pa sa mga matay kun dili mo minimize lang kay kung Pag sige, kaon ng bakterya, mumultiply mo na sa daghan. No? Paspas ang iyong pagmultiply. So, daghan silang mga on dito. No? So, mga on ang dali mahorot, mga matay sila. So, inom ni mo sa imong product, muragwa na ito i-gamit ito. Kaya na itong mga bakterya ha. No, nang matay na ang mga good bakterya nga ito ka dito. Okay? So, mga on ang endergoid sa ugo treatment. The other one is chemical treatment. So, chemical treatment. We have chemical treatment, seed may be treated with fungicides and insecticides to improve resistance to decay during storage or during early growth. No? Various chemical treatments food products may be added to processed foods, vegetables, vegetable meats, and dairy products to improve shelf life and other and appeal. Yeah, you know? So, appeal ang appeal, no? Okay, so, and appeal. No? So, kanang, I know nga na mo uh, meat processing, no? So, dito introduce ning mga kung saan pag-process ang meat para nga malain na po siya produkto, hindi po ka man preserve po siya sa dugay nga panahon. So, may store siya na ito ang dugay nga panahon. So, muna ang mga uban yung mga chemical treatment niya gamiton. Okay? Then, we have biological treatment. No? So, biological treatment uh, to enhance the product's shelf life or appeal may include aeration or oxygenation. Fermentation may be used to produce a specific product prior to to marketing. No? So, pwede po taog biological treatment. Pasabot mo, introduce taog pwede uh, magpa kining uh, uh, bacteria no? para nga ma-enhance na to ang atong pagkaon. No? So, daghay mga 
uh, products nga gina-undergo po ni Anay. But not all, no? Dili tanan. So, depende actually sa product, depende na kung unsay atong ang produkto, no? Each of these major processing operations, pwede na sa usaka product na combinations, no? Naghan ng combinations during the to, to aron niya makakuha ka o uh, final product, no? Different combinations of these major uh, processing operations and also the activities involved sa usaka produkto. So, muna nga mag-agad din ta, din ha, niya ng dapita. No? So, mag-agad ta sa itong produkto para nga uh, dili o so, dili madaot itong produkto, dili ta magpataka o process, dili po ta magpataka o uh, apply sa on sa mga uh, activities diha no? Kinahanglan niya eksakto gayon sa onsay dapat na tong buhaton. So, muna kung doon mo in the future, maybe in the future, no? mag-business mo, and then involve lagi og agricultural products, and so, you have to ask no, the expertise of some other uh, kanang mga professionals para nga mas munindot ang inyong product. Unya, hindi lang munindot, mutaas po ang inyong income or inyong profit no, in the future. Okay? So, that's all for this video. No, Thank you for uh, watching and listening. Let me end this video by quoting Ephesians 5, 15 to 16 as it says, Be very careful then how you live, not as unwise but as wise, making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. God bless and see you on the next video.